Hello Shadow Chasers and Thrill Seekers and thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Abandoned, Creepy, and of course, Mysterious. In this episode we look at the beautiful home of a pioneer merchant who operated a sawmill in this tiny part of Florida. Built in 1890, this home features an open breezeway floor plan that separates the kitchen from the living room and over 2,100 square feet. This floor plan and just the sheer uniqueness of the architecture and attention to detail made this one of the most unique homes in the county. Other homes like this did exist, however, very few remain to this day. The merchant opened up the county's first general store and built a home for himself in the 1890s. He sold that property and despite the fight for preservation, that home was demolished due to the church wanting room for additional parking. A huge waste if you ask me. This left this very home that you're looking at now as the last home the man owned around that time. In this very intro, I'm sure you noticed, there are a couple of photos of the Willow listing for this home in the mid-2000s when it was being sold by those owners. Unfortunately, those very same owners opposed the destination of the home as a historic landmark due to the financial well the home seemed to be. The house is in remarkable condition and has endured the Florida elements extremely well for its age. It now sits vacant since 2007, waiting future plans to be laid out. Unfortunately, vandals got to the home over the past decade or so. Nonetheless, this was a beautiful, remarkable home, and I'm so very happy to share this journey with you guys. If you like content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you know when I upload new videos. That being said, Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoy the video as much as I enjoyed filming it. All right, Shadow Chasers and Thrill Seekers, I'm Ludger Kushner, aka Chris. Behind me is a mansion. Uh, looks pretty gutted inside, so there's not a whole lot left, but what is really interesting about this place is just the architecture of the place itself is really amazing. Um, there's a pool right here, and uh, yeah, we should probably get inside and get to exploring because we are really exposed. There's a lot of cars, a lot of traffic, so let's get in. To go inside. Place is absolutely decimated, as you can see. This was a really fantastic porch at one point in time. So yeah, this is known as like one of the older looking houses around this area. I don't really need the light. I can just deal with the natural lighting that's coming in. Got yeah, a nice little fireplace. And a lot of people have been asking me like, what is the point of having fireplaces in Florida? Well, I mean, see a rocket ship. <laughs> Um, just because it's Florida does not mean that it is not capable of getting cold. There's been a couple times where, since I've lived here, past 19 years, um, it's gotten below zero, like, not below zero, like below 40. And when you live here for long enough, like, your body really adjusts to the, it gets used to the heat. So any little bit of coldness. Okay, that leads back to that room. Any little bit of like coldness is very like, you can tell when it's cold.
midsection that separates the two areas. We're gonna try and get in here. I'm gonna get away from this window. Yeah, they definitely were trying to like, I guess, fix some of this place, but honestly, with how old this place is, it would take someone who knows what they were doing to actually fix this place back up. You know, it's, what's really sad is it looks like they had some older stuff like sitting. Like that looks like an older style mirror, but that's a shame. It looks like most of the old stuff that was left here was just smashed. Trying to be a little low, but this is the front porch. All right, let's go up these stairs. These are sketchy. There's no handrail. This is very dangerous. I hate that. As you can see, this place is definitely seen better days. You still got a fan up there. They had a good looking yard too. That's for sure. This little area right here. The pool's down there. We'll go to that eventually. Yeah, like I said, not a whole lot. Um, I think this place was built in like the early 1900s. If I'm wrong, then the beginning of the video will prove me wrong. Because I'm going to do a little bit more research on this place before I work on the video. So yeah, I'm going to tread lightly here. shot of this corridor here we had a car just like stop and look at us from the school and that was kind of kind of terrifying little closet area there's like an attic I really wish people wouldn't spray paint stuff. It's so stupid. It's very, very stupid. Like, I mean, at least by, you know. That's weird, there's only one, only one stairway. I thought there'd be more, but. Yeah. Is this like a patio over here? I think it is. Oh, no. It's like a little closet area.
See, this is what I mean when they had good backyard. Very nice, wide open. You know, it's crazy. I just noticed that there's a basketball court here. Wild. Shoot some hoops. At a bando. Awesome. Another thing I noticed, there's a cactus up there just growing. Kind of gives you an idea of how long this place just has been abandoned. I mean, there's a cactus growing on the roof. That's wild. All right, let's go to safety and go to this pool area. Save the best for last. I love my, love my abandoned pools. It looks like they had like some kind of brick walkway at one point. Got a load of bamboo there. Really cool. Oh, and there is a well here. Let's see how deep this well is. I mean, it's pretty obvious how deep it is. It's deep. I'm guessing about 12 feet. Let me see again. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty deep. And that was loud. <laughs> yeah, that's like, 12 feet, 20 feet, maybe. There's like some kind of like little, little structure over here. Let's see if I can get to this without, oh, no, there's a car. This is so sketch. Yeah, there is a lot of cars. But yeah, there's some kind of shed. It looks like an old chicken coop. Could be a greenhouse, because there's like some kind of water system here. Then again, a well, so most of their water was probably connected. Definitely a nice little pool area. This whole thing is dry rotted though. little shed. Nature is definitely taking over. Oh, look at this guy. He's shedding. Where'd he go? Oh man. He vanished. The whole freaking ecosystem of life in there. Generations and generations and generations. Frogs, tadpoles, this water looks very, like, not good though. It almost looks like there's oil or something on it, but 
that's probably just like sediment. Wow. What I did notice is this little pool house. Just nothing left of it. Wild. There are some big, big tadpoles in there. Huge. <laughs> We're talking like quarter size. Doesn't sound big, but for tadpole, it really is. All right, guys. So I think that is going to be it for this video. I'm probably going to get a few more shots of this place. It's a very magnificent building, a lot of history, and who knows what's going to happen with this place because honestly, it is fallen into such disrepair like but who knows uh it's a very beautiful building and i really wish places like this would be saved more um in florida this is a common occurrence like just the architecture on the window and just how it comes to a point you don't really see that a lot in this little half wrap around back area it's really nice but Thank you guys so much. Um, if you enjoy this video and content like this, please subscribe, comment, tell me what your favorite thing about this place is. Mine is just the architecture. The pool is really cool. Um, that being said, this is going to be the end of the video. Stay tuned, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, don't forget to ring the bell icon because YouTube wants you to do that. <laughs> see you guys in the next one.